Last night, Drake, yes, that Drake, played Fortnite with Ninja live on Twitch. Twitch is a live streaming platform mostly used to watch gamers play video games live. Ninja is one of the biggest broadcasters on Twitch. And Fortnite is a wildly popular battle royale game that I would argue is going viral as you're watching this video. So this whole thing transpired when Drake followed Ninja on Instagram. Then Ninja announced that he was going to duo with Drake because Drake slid into his DMs. Drake DM me on Instagram this morning. He followed me on Instagram the other day. We planned to do dubs tonight. So they did it, they went live. And then Drake fired off a tweet and before we all knew it, more than half a million people were watching the two of them play live. They quickly won two games back to back. Got it baby. Yeah, Boom. there we go. Let's get it man. Let's go baby. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me, baby. Let's go. You're, ins you're insane. Oh, Yo, my. that was crazy. Oh. That was crazy. I died like 15 minutes ago and started winning the game by itself. And while they were streaming and gaming, they were talking about all sorts of stuff, like pineapple on pizza. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Oh, man. I feel like... I feel like a chicken and pineapple pizza could work, but I don't eat, I, I don't eat meat anymore, so. Okay. But but I enjoy I enjoy pineapple on pizza though. I don't mind it. But Okay. That's that's from my high school days and that's from my Canadian high school days, you know? A pineapple pizza late night. <laughs> Can't go wrong. And the fact that rap megastar Drake is actually a fan of Ninja's and has been watching him play Fortnite. So how long have you been playing Fortnite or been a fan? Um, probably like for like about a month or two, maybe. Like that. Like Sam. You know, we, we stay in the studio for so long, like sometimes like 20 hours, you know, 15, 20 hours. So it's just nice to take up a little mental break and just, we all just squat up and we suck. You know, like, you know, like whatever. <laughs> We still try, you know. We still try to do our thing. But yo, I've been watching your, your, your I've been watching your shit for a minute, man. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Dude, thank you, man. Yeah, I started uploading. Did you, did you see all my shit on? I'm actually, this is curious. So, you, have you seen my clips on Instagram? Right? Like, is that when you started yeah, like seeing some of my stuff? I saw your clips on Instagram, and then I, then I kind of went on YouTube and like started really like just seeing like, because I think you used to play. You didn't always play this, right? You played like Players Battleground Unknown, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I played Pub yeah. Yeah, PUBG. Yeah, PUBG, yeah. So, yeah. So, yes, Drake, the rapper, God's Plan, Hotline Bling, etc., etc., was playing video games with a Twitch streamer. If that doesn't say 2018 to you, I don't know what does. They also played with Kim.com for a round or two, and then they ended up playing with Travis Scott and Juju. <laughs> Cash. Hey. Travis Scott, another rap artist, and Juju is a professional NFL player. But last night, while they were playing, while it was Ninja Drake and Travis Scott, Lil Yachty tweeted at them that he wanted to play. Logic also tried to get involved, but then Drake uh, Drake had some words for him. He said, tell the boy Drizzy he don't want it with the Bobby. <laughs> tell him to pull up with a squad, he could get slapped out too. Oh, oh shit. Also, Ninja, at the time I'm recording this video, has 180,000 subscribers, which is just unheard of. He also recently passed 3 million followers. But back to him playing with Drake and Travis Scott, I think the key here is exposure. I think we're in a period right now where esports and Twitch streaming and professional video games are having a, a serious spotlight shed on them, and this definitely helps. Drake is an artist that can fill up an arena in the physical world. And Ninja, I would argue, is also some type of artist that could fill up an arena, but in the digital world. But I bet if he did do some sort of tour, he could sell that out too. But just the fact that those two worlds collided the way they did last night in such an organic way, and then Drake tweeting it to his 30 plus million followers, exposure. I think most people, I think like most people, don't know really about Twitch and have heard about maybe this esports thing and playing video games and making money, but 
last night, technically this morning, they were streaming at like one in the morning, was a pivotal moment because a rapper of Drake's magnitude has never gone publicly and streamed with one of the biggest Twitch streamers. Sure, we have people like Deadmau5, Joel, I wanna give an honorable mention to, has been streaming for years. He's a huge, huge Twitch streamer. Not huge in the sense of like numbers wise, but he's been doing it forever. And Snoop Dogg is getting into it now. T-Pain has done it before too. And I think Doc said it best here. It's all about growing the community and simply saying, hey, this is a thing that exists. You can go to Twitch and watch for free your favorite streamer or your favorite video game being played. And now there's this idea of, whoa, rappers like video games and will go so far as to join streamers while they're live and then share it with that audience. I think that crossover is so, so, so important. Drake's audience obviously is bigger than Ninja's and I think they're different types of audiences too, but Drake posting it on his social media has what, like 120,000 retweets right now. Exposure, exposure, exposure. Fostering new communities, fostering the communities that currently exist, and ultimately just getting new eyeballs that weren't watching before to start watching. And I think this is also really important because it allows you to connect with these super elevated human beings, elevated as in they're super famous, in a way what we haven't really done before. They're playing video games. Sure, there's things like Instagram and Snapchat where you can watch them post stories and photos and videos in real time, but to have them so casually calm and collected while they're playing video games, just hanging out, that is not something that we get to see every day. It humanizes them. It allows the audience to connect with them on an even deeper level. Like traditional sports, football, basketball, baseball, those have been around for like a hundred years. This whole video game, live streaming, professionally making money, tournaments, selling out arenas in real life, that stuff is new in the last decade. And I think with humongous rock stars like Drake and Lil Yachty and whoever else is gonna start playing with Ninja and maybe even streaming on Twitch, I think their kind of clout and their ability to push their fans to this medium is awesome. So yeah, it was just so crazy to watch the whole thing transpire. I was live on Twitch last night and someone in the chat, I don't remember who it was, but thank you for letting me know. I think it was Talamantis said, Ninja is about to play with Drake. I was like, no way. And he had like 150, 200K live. Then he got Drake and had him download Discord and it was a whole thing. Then all of a sudden, the entire internet was talking about. It. And today, there are so many headlines about this moment in history. It was awesome to watch this thing happen in real time. And that's, I think, one of the key factors that Twitch plays in this whole thing is that it's live. It's happening in real time. You can type, there's, yeah, whatever, 20 second latency, but the streamer sees it, they're playing the game in real time, and the chat's going nuts. It's crazy. This is the part in the video where I'm going to plug my own Twitch channel. That is twitch.tv slash Sam Sheffer. I play on the main gear rig. That video will be linked below. I might even be live while you're watching this video, so hit up my Twitch link, say hi, tell me you came from this video, and that's kind of it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.